Move over, Google. Here comes ChatGPT. Instead of your computer directing you to information, ChatGPT provides it for you in detailed text. If you ask it a question, it'll answer it. If you ask it to continue what you're writing, it'll do that. Since it was made available to the public in November, the chatbot software is catching on at Canadian universities. My students are using ChatGPT in order to answer their questions about class content. So instead of coming to my office hours, they're just plugging their questions into ChatGPT to see what it says. Last week, U.S. Congressman Jake Auchincloss used ChatGPT to generate this speech. I stand here today because I am planning to reintroduce the United States-Israel Artificial Intelligence Center Act. Auchincloss did need to refine his prompt several times before getting the text he wanted, but analysts say the shift is coming. Until now, technology has replaced manual labor jobs. The target this time is intellectual labor. I don't think it's limited to just white collar, though. I think eventually it's going to be uh, everything. Uh, it's even going to come for the blue collar workers because um, you're essentially going to be able to put this AI inside robotics. A particular type of AI that's come a long way since it was first considered in the 1990s. Well, you can train it on things that it's never seen before, and the model has this emergent reasoning capability. And that was a remarkable discovery. There's still some work to do on accuracy. Its developer, OpenAI, admits ChatGPT tends to give plausible-sounding but incorrect or nonsensical answers. A growing number of schools are banning it, so students don't pass off the chatbot's text as their own. Although telling the difference isn't easy. Truthfully, um, without a, a computer to analyze it, it might be pretty hard to tell. Software that can detect ChatGPT wording is also likely to grow in popularity in the effort to ensure not all intelligence is artificial. Ross Lord, Global News.